You're welcome once again to this exciting channel. Um, in this uh, short video today, we shall be looking at the gross anatomy of the dog. Okay, so quickly, I will start by showing us the surfaces of the liver, and then we'll now go into identifying or identification of the different parts of this organ. So the surfaces. This is a lat the lateral surface, okay, the lateral surface, while here, this is the visceral surface, okay, the visceral surface is actually the uh, surface that makes contact with other visceral organs like the stomach, the intestines, the kidney, and all that, okay. So let's start from the lateral surface, okay. Um, uh, mainly, the liver of... Uh, a domestic animal is divided into two parts the left and the right part so this is the left part while this is the right part okay this is the left part from here down where from here down is the right part okay so let's look at the the parts that are on the right and the parts that are on the left so on the left part this is the left lateral loop okay so it is separate from this okay so you can see so this is the left lateral loop, while this is the left medial loop, okay? Let's look at the right loops. We have the right, the right lateral loop. We have the right medial loop. We also have the quadrant loop, okay? The quadrant loop. Now, the gallbladder, this is the gallbladder, is actually located between the quadrant loop and the right medial loop, okay? The gallbladder is located between the quadrant loop and the right medial loop. This is actually a hint on how to identify uh, the left, the right loop, uh, or how to differentiate the right loop from the left loop. So, having said this, we'll go to the the visceral surface of this organ and also identify the structures that are present there. Okay, so we turn to the visceral surface. Okay, like I said earlier on. You can differentiate the right loop from the from the medial loop, the right loop from the left loop by identifying the location of the gallbladder. Okay, and knowing that the gallbladder, this is the gallbladder, right? Get it closer. Okay, this is the gallbladder. Okay, and so since the gallbladder is located between the quadrant loop and then the right medial loop, okay, this is the quadrant loop. And this is a right medial loop, and this is a gallbladder. Okay, so that means that this here becomes the right part of the liver, while this point is the left part of the liver. Okay, I take it again. The quadrant loop, sorry, the gallbladder is actually located between the quadrant loop. Okay, this is the quadrant loop and the right medial loop. That means that this is the right part of the liver, while this is the left part of the liver. Okay, so let's look at the parts again generally. This is the right lateral loop, okay? This loop here is the right lateral loop. So let me get it closer. Okay, so this is the right lateral loop. This is the right medial loop, okay? The right medial loop, this one here, okay? And then this is a quadrant loop. Okay, this is a quadrant loop. Of course, look at the gallbladder in between. Okay, this is the gallbladder. All right, the gallbladder. Let's make it open it more. Okay, that's the gallbladder. Okay, so the gallbladder between the right medial loop and then the quadrant loop. Now, this is the left lateral loop and this is the left medial loop. Okay, let me make it clearer. Let me make it clearer. This is the right, the left lateral loop. This is the left lateral loop. And then this is the left medial loop. Okay? Why this is the quadrant loop, the gallbladder, the right medial loop, and then the right lateral loop. Now, finally, let's talk about this. The loops located on this aspect. Okay? Just these two loops, okay, here, 
Okay, projecting towards the left lobe is the papillary process. Okay, this here. Okay, this is the papillary process. It's actually pointing towards the left lobe. So this is the papillary process. Why this is the caudate process? Okay, the caudate process of the caudate lobe. Now this is the renal impression. Actually, this is where uh, the right kidney makes an impression on the liver. Okay, that's why it is called the renal impression. Okay, the impression is actually on the caudate lobe because the, the whole of this is a caudate lobe. Okay, the whole of this is a caudate lobe. All right. I think this helps. Okay, in my next video, I shall be. Uh, looking at or discussing the species variation okay between this species and another species thank you for watching do well to subscribe to this channel dr fred academy also click on the notification bell icon when you have so done so you can be notified whenever we post our videos do comment and like our video thank you